And before we get into today's video, I just want to say one thing. Uh, make sure you join the Reels Mod Discord server right now. It has uh, 33,000 members, it's growing every day, and if you have, if you need help or you have questions or anything, even if you want to show off something cool you did, make sure you join this, this server. I'm in it, all the people who worked on the mod are in it, um, the help team are in it, and so many other great people. You can get live help, you can report mod issues, there's an automated help system, and so many more cool things. Uh, again, a lot of people do require help uh, while installing the mod because things can get complicated and issues can arise, but this server will really help you out. So I highly, highly recommend you join. And it's much better than asking the YouTube comments or anything. Uh, please join the server and I'll help you very soon. Thank you. Hello guys, Lewis here. Welcome back to another video. And this is a very big one. This is on uh, the release of Fight Force FIFA 21 Reels Mod 1.2. It is now out to patrons. In this video, I'm going to be going over everything from how you can download it, install it, what the mod is, some individual things, um, and a bunch of other general stuff so that you can fully install it and fully know what to do on how to uh, unleash the power of FIFA 21. So if you don't know what the Reels mod is, it's basically a mod that overhauls FIFA 21 and tries to make it the best it can be. I mean, it, it licenses all the unlicensed teams like Juventus and Roma. It adds over a thousand new player faces, some manager faces, some referee faces, so many more graphics, banners, kit updates, flags, ad boards, stuff like that. But then there's the core reels mod, which makes scouting, uh, player transfers, player wages, growth, uh, board, uh, you know, sacking. Um, and random stuff like that. It makes that all a lot more realistic. And there's so many other things. There's realistic regen faces, tattoos, manager outfits, so much more. So it's a really huge mod that overhauls the game. I think it's the best mod out there. The download, it is pretty simple. It's a big file, so it may actually take some time to download, but to install it is relatively uh, self-intuitive. But if you're don't, if you not great with computers, uh, I'd recommend that you watch this whole tutorial. Uh, if you have good general uh, computer knowledge, then maybe you can just skim through this. But uh, to start, you want to download the file, so you want to go to fightformods.com slash fiva21-reelsmod, link is in the description, and there should be a card on screen. And you're just going to go here, it's going to have some details, some images, the tra trailer is going to start playing. And yeah, I would recommend you watch the trailer if uh, you don't know what the mod is. Anyways, you can see the features list here, some other stuff, but you just want to click download. And that will bring you to this page. And uh, we can see version 1.2. If you're watching this in the future, it may be a newer video in that uh, way. The install process will generally be the same, but I'd recommend you go to my channel because there may be a newer install video for that specific version. Anyways, uh, it will say current status, Patreon only, uh, at least that's what it says right now. Uh, the way the mod works is that for the first seven days of uh, release, only $2 plus patrons get early access. So if you're, uh, if you're not a patron, you're gonna have to wait seven days till after release. And uh, I'm recording this before it's actually been released, but when you go here uh, on this page, it will give you a date if it's still patron only. So patron only until, uh, you know, whatever date. Or if you waited long enough, it will say public. But I'll get into that in a minute. You'll click download and it will bring you to here. This is the Patreon post for Five vs. FIFA 21 Reels Mod 1.2. So now obviously, uh, like I said, if it's still in Patreon Early Access, you're gonna have to become a Patron. You can do that on patreon.com slash reelsmod, link is in the description, and you should get a card now. And yeah, it's just $2 a month, American, uh, a month, but you can cancel any time. So you can subscribe, download it, and then cancel, and you'll only be charged once. Now, I'm in Canada, so the prices are Canadian, so for me it's $3, uh, but it's the early access tier. So depending where you are, the currency might be different, so it might say something different, but the early access tier. Um, uh, I think it's worth it, but again, if you can't afford it or you don't want to pay the money, that is totally fine. You can just wait until it's free, um, which shouldn't be long, just at the maximum of seven days, but probably less when you're watching this. So you can join here, just join, or if you uh, pay annually, you can save 10%. There are some other tiers if you want more, uh, more perks, uh, like if you want alpha tester to get uh, alpha builds and stuff like that, you can do that, but do whatever you want. If you don't want to join, you don't have to, but it's, it's there if you want to. And it really helps, it really helps. All the money goes straight back into uh, stuff like the tool and uh, acquiring more faces and kits and stuff for the mod. Anyways, uh, if you do become a patron or you already are, you'll get access here or if it's public already. Now, I recommend you do read this whole post independently, but I'll skim through it. Uh, now, this version did take a while because the update was a huge one. It changed everything, so we had to redo a bunch of stuff and then there are more updates. Now, if you wanna see the change log, you can just go here. Um, and uh, this goes everything in detail. So we can see, you know, two, we improved 224 new existing banner updates. We added 90 new face updates, whatever, whatever. There's a ton of stuff here. Uh, but then if you don't wanna read all that, you can just watch the about six minute or something reveal video that I made. Uh, that will also be linked in the description. That goes over the main changes, the exciting stuff. 
basically. So I'll link that in the description, but it's also on the post. Then the features list, I talked about this earlier. You can go here, you can see, okay, what does the change in AI team selection? What does the uh, manager faces mod change? The graphics mod, et cetera, et cetera. If you wanna go through and see everything it does. Now credits. Uh, there have been so many people who have helped with this mod, incredible amount. I could not do this by myself. Now, I'm not gonna have time to thank all of them because there is, again, a ton, but I would recommend that you go to the credits page and you see everyone, or there's uh, credits TXT in the mod file, but so many people here, especially uh, GNKlein92, who has done a bit of everything. He's dabbled in everything. He's helped, uh, you know, help with the Discord server. He's helped do language strings, database, squad file, uh, organizing things, importing things, exporting things, everything. Uh, you know, he does the boring stuff, basically, um, but it's it must be done, and I, I owe a huge amount to him. He is an incredible, incredible person, and if you get a chance, he's in the Discord, very active there, so if you get a chance to thank him, I would highly recommend you do so, because the mod would not be what it is without him. Now, a few more notes. You're going to need the latest FIFA title update, title update 18, to use the mod. So if you haven't already, you want to go to Origin, Game Library, and then here, FIFA 21. You want to go here and then click update game because maybe your game isn't updated i recommend you do this even if uh, you are updated because it might it will tell you if you've already updated and if it's not it'll update the game for you now again you want to make sure that the latest update was title update uh, 18 at that point you want to make sure that there were no new title update released because when if fifa do release a new update which i doubt they will because it's almost the end of fifa 21 but if they do then the mod will not work so i would recommend that um you you do check that but there shouldn't be another fifa update you only need 1.2, by the way. So if you have 1.0 or 1.1, you can delete those. You only need the latest update. Uh, the installation process is quite similar to similar versions, and uh, old careers do work with 1.2. Now, the biggest thing here is, which we'll get into later, is you're going to need a new version of FIFA Mod Manager. And then to download, there are two links after the download uh, thing, but you won't see it on my screen, obviously. Uh, there's the Mediafire, which is uh, very reliable, but it is quite slow. Uh, if you use a VPN and set it to the United States, the location, it may be a bit faster. And then there's Mega, which is very fast, but after you download five gigabytes, it may try to force you to subscribe to their paid subscription. Um, you, sometimes you can bypass this by downloading their app or using a VPN, but sometimes it won't let you. So there's two options, both have their pros, both have their cons. So you can try them out, see which one works for you, I guess. And then, like I said before, you're gonna need a new version of the FIFA uh, mod manager. You can get that on fifaeditortool.com, link is in description.com, uh, fifaeditortool.com slash download, link is in description. And you want FIFA editing tool suite v1.0.7 or above so v1.0.8 when that's released will be fine too uh, so you can go here you can see the change log etc etc um, but you just want to click download on the mod manager we don't need the editor for now it'll bring you to a mega page um, simple enough just click download on the rar led download simple as that i'll cut to when everything's downloaded anyways here we have both files the mod and the mod manager next thing we want to do is just extract them uh, now, you probably have a unarchiver software on your PC already. Uh, if you don't, I'd recommend getting WinRAR. You probably already have it, but if you don't, you want to go to rarlab.com slash download slash htm, link is in description. Go down and then just click whatever language you want and it will download. And then you'll go through the installer. Um, but yeah, then you'll just open it, uh, you'll open it up. First, we'll do the mod file. So what you want to do is you just want to extract the whole folder. That's why it's easier, because if you go in here, you might miss something. So I just recommend extracting the whole folder. You can use the extract to button, choose wherever, or you can just go here and then drag it here and do that. And then obviously it is 12 gigabytes, so it may take some time. So just give it uh, some time to extract. And then the same thing for the mod manager, just extract the whole folder. Okay, so great, I've extracted both folders. So first things first, we wanna open the mod manager. Go into the folder, click the mod manager, and then you can go right click open or double click. You can run it as administrator and I would recommend it, but it's not required. Uh, but if you're running into any issues then that's a good troubleshooting step. But I'll just open it and it should look like this. And I should say, if you have already have installed the mod manager, an older version, what you wanna do is just replace the exe in your existing folder. So drag the new exe into your new folder and uh, make sure it has the same name as the old one. Uh, but that way you won't have to re-import your mods and stuff. Anyways, it's going to look like this. If you have mods, that's fine. If you have old versions of the Reels mod, I would recommend you uninstall it now. Uh, and if you use other mods, they might not be compatible with the, mo uh, the Reels mod, so you might want to uninstall them now or at least unapply them. Uh, I In the Discord server, which is linked in the description, which we'll get into later, uh, I have a list of what mods are compatible and what aren't, and you can ask if you have your own custom mods. Anyways, now we want to import the Reels mods. So uh, you, there's a few ways to do this. You can just use the Import Mods button here. 
navigate to the folder and then import them. Uh, or you can also use the drag and drop feature. So go here, go wherever they are, click on one or multiple and drag them there, here. You can import the RAR archive, but that will probably lead to issues and you get all the mods. So I highly recommend you import the mods by themselves. So let's go here and let me just import them all. Now, while these are importing, I'll get into a few things. So uh, the mod names, uh, they're pretty self-explanatory. Manager faces, that's manager faces, gameplay mod, does gameplay, stuff like that. Um, but I'll get into a few extra things here. Uh, if you've encountered any errors already, uh, then make sure you join the FIFA Editor Tool Discord, li also linked in the description, or the Reels Mod Discord, and report the error. But most of the errors can be fixed by running the Mod Manager's admin, or normally they will give you details on the error of what to do. Now, I'll quickly go through a few more things. Now, there are a ton of add-on mods you may know. Uh, now, if you're in the Discord server, you can ask about what everything does, but generally they're pretty self-explanatory. But I'll get into some specific ones later on. Okay, at this point, all my mods have been installed. You can see them here. Now again, the mod installing process might take some time because they are big, but once they're here, we want to apply them. Now, the easiest way is just to go Control A or select them all, click apply, and then they're here. Now, you don't have to use all mods, but it's highly recommended you do. But if for some reason you don't want the new camera, you can just untick it here very easily. You can also select a locale.ini file to use by clicking on default locale.ini, and then you can select one. Uh, again, it's all up to you which one to select. Uh, they all contain some various gameplay tweaks and they unlock some graphics, but you can use the one that makes it slow uh, gameplay or you can you know, make it very aggressive. I'll just go with the normal uh, gameplay locale. A few more things you can do here. You can see the description of the mod, which will give you some features list and some credits. You can also go up here to see the affected files. If you want to get into modding yourself, you can see oh, what legacy files does it edit. You can do a search. Those are also some cool features added in the new mod manager. You can add d uh, different profiles for the mod manager for different sets of applied mods. Uh, you can go to the settings thing and you can edit some default FIFA settings uh, to whatever you want. And also a few mod manager settings. For instance, use alternative launch methods. If for whatever reason your game isn't launching, this is a great troubleshooting step you can take to make your game launch and use low memory mode. This is enabled by default, but if you have very high amounts of memory, maybe 32 gigabytes, 64 gigabytes, then you might want to try disabling this. There's also this DirectX toggle. And I would recommend you do play on DirectX 11, but if you're experiencing crashes or the game is running quite slowly or something uh, and you have a very good computer, you might want to try playing on DirectX 12. Last thing I'm going to get into while we're on the Mon Manager is the expanded national team add-on. Now, for starting a new career, if you want the uh, new national teams and the new national, national team tournaments, so I think there's 48 new national teams or something with Ukraine, Croatia, etc., and new tournaments like a real uh, CONCACAF qualifiers for the World Cup, the expanded Euros, uh, stuff like that, then you're going to want to apply the expanded national team experience mod. And that mod is in the expanded national team experience mod. Go one more folder and then the expanded national team experience mod. You want to apply this and the main thing, it needs to be under this main reels mod. If it, you want it to work, it has to be under that main reels mod. Now when using this mod, uh, careers created without that mod will not will not work. It will say they're damaged. They aren't actually, if you disable the mod, they'll work fine. But just a uh, warning, if you, if, when this mod is applied, you won't be able to load older careers that weren't started with it. And then one more thing, if you use this expanded national team experience mod in uh, in versions 1.0 or 1.1 of the Reels mod, you're going to want to use the uh, old national careers loader mod. Uh, apply that and you, again, that has to be below all other mods, including the expanded national team experience, which you can disable. Um, and uh, that's just because uh, EA redid a few things. So this is just a workaround. Again, you won't be able to create new careers with that mod applied, only load existing national careers. And I know that does sound very uh, confusing, so I'll put a little graphic up on the screen right now that will hopefully clear that up for you. And uh, that's available in the Discord as well. So I will apply the Expand National Team Experience mod because we just want the full experience of the mod. And then at that point, you can launch. Now, uh, if you have already used the mod manager, you're gonna wanna go other launch options, delete uh, FIFA mod data and launch, just so that you, you kind of do a clean wipe of, of, well, it's the equivalent to a cache kind of, uh, that will help you maybe fix some bugs that you might encounter. Um, so I'll just do that here, but if it's the first time, you can just click the launch button. Now, as it says, this may take some time, up to 30 minutes or longer. Uh, for me, it's very short, it's only a few minutes, but again, for different people with different computers, it may take longer. Now, luckily, that's only the first time. After you launch it, every every other time you launch it, it's just going to take a few seconds, unless you delete mod data or you change the order of applied mods. Uh, for faster launch speeds, uh, enable low memory mode, uh, install FIFA 21 uh, and the mod manager on your C drive or your SSD drive. 
But yeah, at this point, let's just wait for the game to load and I'll come back to you when it has launched. Now FIFA has launched up, so I'm gonna get into a few last things. First of all, how can you install the squad file? The squad files are an important piece to the mod, which add a few things like realistic player ratings, some info for new added competition, the new added national teams, etc, etc. And if you are using the expanded national team experience mod, you need it or else it will not work. Otherwise it is optional, but it is highly recommended. So I'll quickly get into how to install it, but I have made a much more in-depth tutorial um, uh, about installing a squad file, which I'll link in the description right now, and it should be, appear on screen. Now, choosing the squad file, it's fairly simple. Are you using the expanded national team experience mod or not? In this case, we are. So we want to use the one in the expanded national team experience folder. If not, you're gonna wanna use the one in the main folder. So let's go in here, in here, and then here we have two squad files. The national one and the national one with faces and tattoos applied. So uh, I'd recommend the faces and tattoos applied if you want to use the reels mod faces, face mods, tattoos, etc, etc. And again, you want to make sure that you do have the face mods, the tattoos mods, everything applied, because you're going to need that to use this. So I'm going to use this one. Then to use it, you want to go right click, copy or control C. Again, I would not recommend just dragging it in there. I think it's better to copy because you may want to reinstall it later. Then we want to put it in documents, FIFA 21 settings. Paste that in there. And we're good. There we go. Then in game, we wanna go customize, we wanna go profile, we wanna go load squads. Then in game, we wanna find the one uh, that has national faces. And then again, if we if there's many or something, you can check the date modified. So this one is at 6.29 a.m. on the 23rd. That one is the same date, so we can load that. Then I'll show you a few things in game first. I mean, we can go edit player, we can go here, we can look at some teams, we can go, Let's go Manchester United. And we can see, oh, De Gea face update, Lindelof Maguire updates, Fred update, Matt update, Rashford update, Fernandez update, you know, Cavani update, Greenwood new face, Shaw update, Pogba update, Matic update, you know, Lingard, there he is, James, Brandon Williams. There are a ton of players update and stuff like that. So that's just showing you the faces. And then team sheets, we can see some new added teams here. Obviously there's England, but we can see a new team like Croatia with all of its players, including Modric, Lovakovic, etc. all of those. Now, if you don't get the new faces or whatever, um, you wanna try reinstalling the squad file, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, But there is another way to get new faces. Say you have your own custom squad file you wanna get the new faces of, or you want to apply the Lua scripts, or uh, you have an existing career that wasn't started with the mod that you wanna get the faces for, that's easily doable. You want to use the cheat engine and Lua scripts. Lua scripts are in, are in the main folder. They are these ones, faces designer, et cetera, et cetera. Now I'm not gonna get how to install those in this video because I have a separate video on how to install the reels my Lua scripts. That'll be linked in the description. It's a very quick tutorial. So if you wanna do that, go check it out, but I'm not gonna cover it here uh, because it does take a little, a few minutes and I don't wanna have to go through that. Now, for starting a career, there's one more thing we wanna do. When we go play, now, every time you want to start a career, there's one thing you want to do, and that is reinstall the squad file. Because if you don't reinstall the squad file, there may be some issues that stuff got over, carried over from old squad files, or you accidentally made an adjustment. So again, to reinstall it, we go back to the mod folder, we copy it again, we repaste it, we click replace, and then we go in game and we reload it. And then when you start a new career, one last thing you have to do to use the squad file is you go play, new career. You need to select current squads, not download latest, not use initial squads, use current squads. And there we go. That's uh, as simple as is to start a new career. Now, there are a couple of other things I should cover. Again, if you have got an error during any of this or you have a question or anything, join the Reels Mod Discord server. Please, link in the description, I'll help you. Now, the Euro 2020 add-on is the last thing I have to cover. I will probably at some point make a, a, a separate tutorial on how you can install this, but it is fairly simple. You're going to uh, apply the Euro 2020 mod so we'll install that mod and then we'll apply it. And uh, we don't need the expand national team experience mod. We still want to use all the other mods. But again, this must be at the bottom of the screen. No other mod should be below this mod. And then again, we launch the game and I'll just show you a couple things about that uh, in a bit. But I should make a separate tutorial on this. I think I will. Now I'm going to get into a couple last things. Uh, first of all, the backgrounds. These replace the default career mode main menu backgrounds with custom club backgrounds. You can use one at a time generally. At least it's best to. There are different kinds. Again, there's no previews of them yet, so you'll have to uh, apply them in game to see. But you just apply them. Again, you should only have one background applied at a time. Then there are fantasy kits. Uh, again, you can use as many of these as you want, just one per one per club. So you can use all of these, just only one Arsenal one, one Brian one, one Burnley one, one Chelsea one, et cetera, et cetera. 
Manager outfits, you only want to use one at a time. You can't use more than one. So you can only use the Arsenal one. You can only use the Manchester City one, but you can't use the Manchester City and Arsenal one at the same time. Optional faces. Uh, for uh, existing face variants, these are different kind of face variations uh, of the faces, but the, they are already in the game. So if you use the Enzo Fatty V2 face add-on, it will replace the existing one in the mod. And generally these are worse versions or d versions with different hair. For, exa uh, for example, you can use Lacazette thicker beard Beard, or a Traore with a short hair and beard, um, stuff like that. And then the new faces, they replace uh, random IDs. So if you want, and I don't recommend using all of these, it's mainly if you just want one or two, like you want uh, Liam Miller, you can apply that, but you'll have to manually change his face ID. I'll make a tutorial on that later, I think. Other add-on mods include fourth kits, which replace the third kits of all these teams. You can use as many as you want, of course. New national team optional way kits. Now, most of the uh, national teams we added, they only have one kit, a home kit, well, a new goalkeeper kit, uh, but you may, you know, encounter kit clashes. So in this, in, in, in case of that, you can use these optional way kit add-ons, but they do replace the home kit. But you can, you can toggle them on and off as much as you'd like. Unemployed manager faces add-on. This is a mod that adds several um, uh, unemployed manager faces uh, to the game, like Arsene Wenger, like Sir Alex, uh, some other ones too. Uh, you can apply this and then you'll have to change the, uh, you'll have to, you know, use the IDs manually. The IDs are in this TXT and then there's a make use ge a generic script there too. I'll make a tutorial on this later. Then there's the half sleeves add-on, which adds a new sleeve type. Uh, in the mod description, there's some info about it. There's a high uh, LOD add-on. LOD stands for level of detail, so that slightly improves graphic quality. You can use the no crowd add-on, which removes the crowd of career mode games. They will still be there for kickoff games. So then there's a sleeve add-on for Tottenham Hotspur, which adds a, uh, a sleeve logo to their kits. And then there's a winter transfers mini faces add-on, which adds mini faces for various players that had a winter transfer. You had other Lewis scripts. These are Lewis scripts for other stuff that aren't main, that aren't as required, but I would still recommend you use them if you're applying them to an existing career or your own custom squad file. But the squad files with faces already have them applied. Referee faces, these are these just contain the IDs of referee faces and a referee.txt, which is a file you can import for existing careers if you want the referee faces. Scoreboards, again, you can only use one from each of these folders. So you can use one Champions League one and one Premier League one or one ger generic scoreboard add-on, uh, but you can't use like two from the same folder. So you can't use these two, obviously. Um, then uh, stadiums. This is a Camp New replica. It's not super exact, but it's a lot closer than default FIFA, a lot closer. You have to import this team stadium link into your career squad file. I'll make a tutorial on that later, but you want to use RDBM. There's a tutorial in the Discord server that you can listen to. Uh, TV logos. You can use one per folder. So one, uh, all other competitions, one English Premier League, but not uh, two in the same folder. And then that's about it. So those are all the mods. Uh, if you have any questions, again, join the Discord, ask there. Then let's get back to uh, the uh, Euro mod. So as you can see, we get this nice start screen and we want to go through this process. And while that's happening, we want to install the Euro squad file. Again, we want to go documents, FIFA 21 settings. Then we want to go to the Euro folder. And then we want to use uh, one of these squad files. Again, you want to use the one with faces or the one without. I'll just use the one with faces here. Paste it in there. Again, don't drag it, just paste it. And then we're here. We want to load the squad file first. Euro 21, 21 mod faces. Go click on the big video, new tournament or load one if you already made one. And then we want to follow these arrows this way until we get here. Choose this one, choose whatever team we want. Let's go England. Start the career. It's going to go like this. going to offer us to save. And then boom, here are the games. You can play against Croatia. Really cool mod, I think. I'm, I think it's it's really, really enjoyable. I know the Euros is over, but it's a fun uh, thing to go back, see see what it could have been. See if you can try to win it with England. You can try to see if you can, uh, you know, get far with North Macedonia. Um, or, you know, a, a team like that, a very underdog team, or, you know, whatever. If you're Croatian, see if you can get Croatia to win it, stuff like that. Anyways, yeah, so that's uh, everything about the Euro, the Euro mod. And I think that is basically gonna complete the tutorial. Uh, I think I covered everything at least a bit. Um, again, there is a good chance that you might run into an issue during this. Uh, some default uh, things are to repair FIFA, reinstall the mod, reinstall the mod manager, restart your computer. But if that doesn't work, again, uh, join the Discord and I will help you. I help everyone. I'm on there very often. I'm very active and normally you'll get answered within an hour or two. Uh, but sometimes, and normally you'll get answered sometimes within a few minutes, but sometimes it will take a bit longer. Um, but when you do ask a question in the server, make sure you are very uh, specific and give details, give screenshots. Anyways, that's going to be it. Uh, again, the mod should be free soon. Uh, there will be a date provided in the description. Um, 
and on the website, but I would really encourage you to become a Patreon if you can, because it does really support the mod, and especially going to FIFA 22, it will really help a lot, because I do want to be able to mod that too. But again, uh, only if you can afford to, only if you want to, I uh, don't want to try to pressure you into buying it, because the mod's going to be free soon enough, and your support is totally optional. But uh, something that is uh, totally free would be to subscribe to this channel, uh, to like this video, to follow me on Twitter at Pfeiffer underscore mods. That is greatly appreciated. I tweet off uh, uh, updates about FIFA and some opinions I have on the upcoming games and stuff like that. So yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. I've been running out of time. Think I need a rewind. Feeling out of life. Put everything aside, hoping that I make it right All the things I do for you